Hi everybody, happy almost weekend. I can't believe it's already Friday this week. Seems like it flew by, um, didn't it? I hope it did for you. And again, I hope if you are being affected by this flooding or you know somebody who is um, being affected by the flooding, as I know many of you do, um, my prayers to you guys and um, just you know, reach out. Let me know, truly, let me know if there's anything I can do to help because I know it's just a really horrible time right now. Um, but trying to stay positive. The rain has stopped. It looks like we have a good run of sunny, hot weather. So hopefully that will help the waters recede and we can um, all be in better moods. I don't know. This rain has really kind of got me funky. So just ready to hit the weekend and enjoy the weather, and I hope you all are feeling the same way. Okay, I just want to um, create a relatively short video on um, how to review your eating guide. Um, it's not rocket science. That's the beauty of this plan, actually. It's very easy to follow. It's very clear cut. Um, there's really not a lot of guesswork in what um, you what you have quote unquote permission to eat. But the mentality here about behind the 21 day fix and really, you know, all of the container, color coded container driven eating programs here is that it, it, tr it truly is a lifestyle. Um, and I know that that phrase is just so taboo. It's not a diet, it's a lifestyle. I know everybody, it's cliche, maybe not taboo. It's just become a cliche because everybody uses it. But I genuinely, from the depths of my always hungry stomach, <laughs> not because of the plan, but because I think I have a tapeworm. Um, from the depths of my stomach, I will tell you that this truly is about making this uh, fit into your life and learning how to eat balanced. Um, so I don't ever want you to think of this as a diet. You're not restricted to anything. You'll see in the eating plan actually that you, you can have carbs, you can have red wine, you can have chocolate. It's just about portion control and balancing things out. So when you know you're going to overdo something at a wedding or a party or whatever, that you're going to taper back maybe a day or two before or a couple days after and balance it all out. That doesn't mean you eat celery and water for three days. It just means that you might take out an extra carb or two the day before a big event or the day after. Or maybe you take out a healthy fat or whatever. So... My, my big message to you as you're reading through your eating guide tonight for your homework is that you look at it as not a list of rules and cannots, but celebrate the fact that you have so many foods in this book that you can use. And with the help of me and the group, we're going to talk about throughout our time together how to use these foods together and to cook them in really yummy, tasty ways. Um, and to celebrate the fact that nobody's telling you you can't have anything. It's just all about moderation and how it works into your goals and what you want to achieve. So having said all of that, I am logged into Beachbody On Demand. I'm going to click on 21 Day Fix. And I'm going to open up my eating plan here on Beachbody On Demand. However, I did, um, I did uh, upload the 21 Day Fix eating plan. And it is under the file section of our Facebook page. So you can also download it and print it there. And some of you might have um, actually a hard copy of your eating guide for your particular program. And that works too. Okay, so... As I showed you yesterday, you've got your workout calendar here and your tally sheets, and I'll post more about how to keep track of your containers um, before the end of this week. But I'm going to go right here to the um, eating plan. You also have a handy dandy just one page food list under your documents too, your program materials if you have on demand that you can print out and take with you to the grocery store. That's super cool. That's right here. But I'm going to go to the eating plan and I'm going to open that up. <clears throat> and I'm not going to go through this page by page, I promise. I know you all know how to read. But I do want to highlight a couple things. Um, get down here, the introduction. 
I do like um, the science behind. I just want to take a moment here and point that out. I want you to know that this is a science-based program. This isn't just some wackadoodle dietitian in Los Angeles um, basing, you know, this diet or this eating plan on, um, you know, just a few people and their success. It is scientifically proven that a good balance, again, we're all about achieving a lifestyle balance here, is 40% carbs, 30% protein, and 30% fat. Yes, you heard me. I know that, that, you know, a lot of us are the children of the 70s, 80s, and even really into the early 90s. We were taught um, really very much so in the 80s and 90s that low fat is the way to go. Well, that's not always true, um, and that's what we're finding out, that most low fat items are lower in nutrients, they are higher in carbs and sugar, and they don't nourish us, they don't feed us. Um, so we do want a diet that's 40% carbohydrates, that's not all bread, that's also your veggies and your fruit, 30% protein and 30% fat, the good kinds of fat, which is what we're going to learn to do together here. So that's, it's science. This is, this is scientifically based, both on a micro and macro level. Okay, you will find that um, in the back of your book, there are some handy dandy recipes, both for food and Shakeology. I will also share my Pinterest boards with you guys. That's something else I promised to give to you before the end of this week. Probably as we start meal planning and grocery shopping. I think that's coming up tomorrow and Saturday. Um, so how does it work? We know that we have these little color-coded containers. I just posted a post in our group on what size these containers are by measuring cup standards in case you wanted to know that. I always like to have that um, on hand so that if my containers are dirty I can use my measuring cups. Um, but remember here that you have your formula. Again, you just need a calculator. It's not rocket science. You're going to put your current rate in, weight in. You're going to multiply that by 11. Add your fixed calorie burn. That's what you, on average, are going to burn in a 30-minute workout. You might burn a little more than that. You might burn a little less, but that's a good average. Again, this is science. And then you're going to subtract 750 calories from that. That's your deficit um, from your maintenance calories so that you can um, effectively lose some poundage um, and and have that muscle that lose the fat and have that muscle mass start um, popping out. Okay, so once you figured out your formula, you know you have your chart here and this is what you get every day, okay, based on your range. I am, I believe, in plan B. I have to weigh myself yet. Hold me accountable, y'all. I, I haven't done my homework yet for that, and I need to. I promised you I will, and I will. But I think I'm still in plan B, which means I get four servings of veggies a day, three servings of fruit, four servings of protein, three servings of carbs. We all, regardless of our range, get one serving of healthy fat, um, and then one serving of seeds and dressings and four servings of oils and nut butters um, or teaspoons. And that can go a long way. I'm gonna hopefully teach you that in the 60 days we're together. Tally sheets, um, I will upload a printable version of this. It's also on Beachbody On Demand. It looks like this. Um, or I will also share how you can access a free tracker app on your phone. Um, as long as you have an Android or an iPhone. I think those are the only two companies that provide the free app. But I think on any smartphone, you can pay for like a $3 app tracker. So I'll, more on that later. Okay. Um, somebody earlier was asking about sample meal plans. Um, I think it was you, Susie. Um, and here you go. They give you a very basic one in the book, um, which is nice, but I will be providing sample meal plans that I have created over time as well. What I want to point out is, which I think is the big takeaway in this sample meal plan, is that 
Um, again, scientifically based, it 21 day fix and the container color coded container system across speech body um, and all the programs that use it encourage you to eat five meals a day. So I usually eat three larger meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then two snacks. One of my two snacks is always my Shakeology. So just a heads up on that. That's kind of what we're, we're looking for. Um, you don't have to eat like that. You could eat five, you know, six times a day, four times a day, just your three square meals. But um, you'll be surprised at how hard it is to actually get in all of your containers if you're only eating three times a day. So it's possible, but it's harder to do. Okay, so that's what I wanted to highlight about that section is we're aiming for five, five small, five meals a day um, and, and dividing our containers out evenly among those. Or again, like I said, you could have three larger meals and two snacks. Okay, what I want to point out for veggies, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna list every single food group for you. Um, remember, veggies are green container and a green container is one cup, but this is really cool. Any veggie on this list or fruit on the next list, or protein on the following list after that, all these foods are quote unquote permissible, okay? Nothing on this list is a big no-no, okay? Um, but I wanna point out that these are nutrient, these are listed in based on nutrient, nutrient density. So your most nutrient dense veggies are listed at the top all the way down to sprouts at the bottom. So if you're looking for more nourishment, you're looking to feel fuller, faster, you want to tend to stick to the veggies at the top. Do I eat all over this list every day, every week? Absolutely. I mean, some of my favorite um, foods, some of my favorite veggies are snow peas um, and mushrooms and onions, and those are towards the bottom. But I just want to point that out. It's good, good to know that you're more nutrient dense, foods are listed at the top of each of these lists, okay? Fruits are purple container and one cup. I love how much fruit we get on this plant. I'm a big fruit person, and um, I also love how um, extensive this list is. Just so you know, ooh, breadfruit. I don't even know what breadfruit is. I'm going to have to look up that and try that out. Okay, red container is... Um, three-fourths cup and it's your protein um, or it will list like eggs is two large eggs with the yolk okay the yellow part is good now you if your doctor is telling you for cholesterol reasons it's not listen to your doctor but for the most part for most of us you want that healthy fat that yellow uh, egg yolk is nutrient dense. It keeps us fuller longer. Don't just eat egg whites unless you prefer them or because of medical reasons you need to. I eat Greek yogurt. Um, I usually have it once a day when I'm really being good. And um, I eat the 2%. You can eat 1% or 2%. Um, and I know it says Greek yogurt plain 1%. I'm not a big stickler on that. Sometimes, usually, I buy the 2% Greek yogurt um, because it's just about fat for fat, calorie for calorie as the plain yogurt, which is which is 2% on this list. Um, again, it just keeps me fuller longer. Don't be afraid of that fat. So again, it tells you if, if, it, if it's... Um, oh, one more thing for protein. It doesn't tell you flat out. You're not going to try to stuff a chicken breast unless you're chopping it, obviously, into your red container. If you're eating a chicken breast or a piece of steak or you know just a, a chunk of meat that you don't want to feel like stuffing into that red container, you're going to want to aim for three to four ounces. That's usually a good serving. So if you're weighing your meat, any kind of meat, pork, beef, chicken, whatever, turkey, you're going to want to aim for about three to four ounces. Red meat is A-OK -okay on this plan. I wouldn't advise eating it every day, but a couple times a week is fine. You want to aim for lean cuts, um, extra lean if possible. All right, you can even have turkey bacon. It's at the bottom of the list. I wouldn't get the um, super processed stuff just because of the sodium 
and all the chemicals and stuff they put in it, but turkey bacon is a-okay. I have some. As, as little as I eat turkey bacon, I just buy the Aldi brand. It's probably full of nitrites, but I only eat turkey bacon maybe every once every two weeks, but it's a good yummy treat. I love turkey bacon. Okay, yellow containers. Um, the only thing I want to point out is notice peas and corn are on the carbs list, which is what yellow is, um, and, and the equivalent to a yellow container is half a cup. So are your beans. Beans are not a veggie. Beans are carbs. All right, so um, remember that when you're meal planning. The other thing I want to point out is oatmeal. Oatmeal, when it's um, uncooked, like if you're mixing it with yogurt to make a parfait, one serving of uncooked oatmeal is one-fourth cup. One serving of cooked oatmeal is a yellow container's worth, which is one-half cup. So if you're eating uncooked oatmeal, like again in a parfait or something else, remember that you don't get a half a cup of uncooked oatmeal, you get a fourth of a cup. And again, you can have whole grain waffles, you can have English muffins, tortillas, you can have those um, starchy carb things we crave. Um, just keep in mind that the more whole grain, whole wheat you can eat, the again, the more nourishing it's going to be to your body and the less sugar it will contain. And that these are kind of more at the bottom of the list. So you don't want to eat all your carbs from these yummies, maybe one carb a day or one carb every other day from the bottom of this list, and then try to stick towards the brown rice and the sweet potatoes and the quinoa and the things towards the top, the beans, all that fun stuff. You can have white and yellow potatoes on this plan too. I get that question a lot. You can't. It doesn't have to be just sweet potatoes. Okay, quickly moving on. Blue container, your healthy fats. Not a whole lot to discuss here. It's one fourth cup. Um, and I hate that, <laughs> just confession being fully honest here, I hate you that I only get one of these a day. I could eat five of these a day. Cheese is my weakness. Um, but I, when I'm on it and I'm focused and, and, and I know what I want, then I stick with it. And I encourage you to do the same. Um, and again, this is just your avocado, your nuts, your hummus, your coconut milk, um, which is good in some recipes, and then your cheeses. Um, something that I just wanted to point out, speaking of, I, I saw coconut milk and I remembered, is, um, and I'll try to say this in a post somewhere too along the way, almond milk. Almond milk and skim milk are back up here on the yellow list. I didn't point that out, um, but here's the deal. Oh good, they might have already taken it off. They did, they've, they've revised this. Oh, this is so good, okay. Since the time that I started 21 Day Fix, they have, they have gone back and said, um, skim milk and almond milk used to be a yellow. And I hated using a yellow on almond milk for my shake. So I often just shook it with water and I didn't like it as much. I like my shakes with almond milk. So um, they have since come back and said that as long as you're just sticking with eight ounces of almond milk a day for your shake, you don't have to count that as a yellow. So that's just kind of a freebie when you're mixing up with your shake. Um, because truly a yellow uh, is 16 ounces of almond milk anyway. So good, good to know. You don't have to count your milk if you're um, your almond milk if you're just using it for your shake every day. Orange is two tablespoons worth, and it's your seeds and dressings. Um, you can make your own dressings. They have a bunch of them here on starting on page sixty in your eating plan, at least in the twenty one day fix plan. Um, and I've tried some of them. They're really easy to make. They're really good. I just bought a cheap like little cruet. A dressing shaker thing at Walmart and um, so you can do that or you can um, just buy the like low fat um, um, like at Aldi like the fit and active dressings like the vinaigrettes um, you can just use um, olive oil and um, balsamic vinegar actually is really good on a salad so we can talk more about dressings later if you're looking for ideas. 
Um, if you're looking for a creamy dressing, like Bolt House Farms, Greek yogurt-based dressings are really good. Again, we'll talk more about that later. Teaspoons are your oils and nut butters. Um, and I know that grapeseed oil is not on this list, but that's not a bad oil either. If you're wanting to use grapeseed oil, that's kind of a new and up and coming oil that everybody seems to be using. Okay, here's the beverage list. And so maybe they haven't changed this yet. Um, these beverages technically are supposed to count as yellows, but I promise you, Autumn Calabrese, the founder of this program, along with her team of scientists, have, have since come out and said, if you're drinking almond milk in your shake, just eight ounces of unsweetened, not the sweetened, um, you do not need to um, count it as a yellow. So that's good. There's your wine, all right? You can have, um, it doesn't seem like a lot, but it gets you a long way when you're not used to, when you're not having a glass or two every night. Four ounces of wine is a yellow. You can even save up two yellows and drink a full eight ounces if you want. Okay, three times a week, all right? So again, moderation, balance. You can trade out an orange or a yellow for some of these yummies, which are um, some of the recipes in this book for cookies chocolate-covered raisins or almonds, um, popcorn, uh, chocolate. Popcorn's not listed on here, but you can... Oh, yeah, you can. Oh, no, it's not. It's not listed. But you can have, I think, um, a cup and a half... No, three cups. Three cups of air-popped popcorn is a yellow. All right? And then, of course, you have all your free foods down here. I don't really think I have much to say. It is fun to season your water. And they give you some really good ideas on how to do that in here. A word on coffee. Um, tea and coffee are unlimited. Um, you know, I wouldn't drink seven cups of coffee a day. Um, the, all that extra caffeine probably isn't a great idea. But, you know, a cup or two is fine. And you can season them for free with any of these unlimited flavor additives. Uh, cinnamon, lemon, nutmeg you know, all your spices. Um, you can, for free, add just a couple tablespoons of skim milk or a couple teaspoons of honey or sugar or, or agave or stevia or whatever you want, and it'd be okay um, just to sweeten it a pinch. However, here's your stay away from. It was so hard. It took me, it took me six months to get myself off my creamer habit. Um, but now I drink my, I buy flavored coffee and normally I just drink it black. Every now and again, I'll put a splash of almond milk in there or a little bit of stevia. So you can do it if you're sitting there going, I don't know how I'm going to do it. Coffee and tea are also great ways to knock your soda habit. Don't feel like you have to completely quit caffeine altogether. If you're knocking your soda habit and you like tea and coffee, it's okay to maybe drink a little more coffee or tea than you normally would until you're off the caffeine from the soda. And then here's a whole list of free foods. I put mustard on everything. It's kind of gross. <laughs> I've gotten addicted to mustard. All right, and that's about it. Some FAQs are in the back. If I didn't um, answer um, those, check those out. And of course, if there are additional questions, post them in the group. Um, and eating out, we'll talk more about that in the group, um, but planning ahead is always a good thing, um, teaches you how when you're making recipes to configure your containers for those recipes, and again, I will help you more with that in the group. And um, don't forget that there is the Fixate channel on the Beachbody On Demand if you have that, which will give you a ton more recipes than what's already in this book. Um, but again, the very back, I think the rest of these are just all recipes and ideas to get your containers in. All right, so um, I think that's it. I'm going to be quiet. I think this video probably went longer than I would have liked anyway. Um, but please comment below this video if you have questions or, you know, again, as they arise over the couple next upcoming weeks or two or all the way through the end. Just 
don't st don't hesitate. Just post them to the group, and I will answer them. And soon enough, you'll find this is the beauty of the group. You will be answering questions for each other because you will um, you will know this like the back of your hand quicker than you might think. All right. So yep, yeah, that's it. Um, let me know if you have any questions, and don't forget to do your homework. Have a good night, guys. Tomorrow is um, meal planning and grocery shop lists and all that fun stuff. So get ready. I'm so glad you're all here. Take care.